Speaking of the Gulf Coast, history is coming to life on the coast. Hand-built replicas of Christopher Columbus's ships, the Nina and the Penta, have arrived at Biloxi Schooner Pier. Chancellor Wynn was there to welcome the ships. Seeing the ships make their way through the waters, it is easy to imagine Columbus and his crew exploring new worlds. This is the best classroom I've ever had because here, you don't, the kid doesn't have to use his or her imagination. You come on board and you have all your senses working in terms of what the size of the ship is like. They're all wood, all the same materials that the ships were originally built on. Dave Zank spends most of the year on board the Nina as first mate, a ship built by hand without power tools. We're museum ships, uh, floating exhibitions, if you will. Uh, static display, we make 30 to 35 stops a year, touring 10 and a half months of the year, um, concentrating on the eastern United States. You can step on board and back in time to see what it was like to be Christopher Columbus, sailing into the unknown. Essentially what we're doing is educating the public uh, and conducting tours for school groups uh, come aboard uh, all about the age of exploration. Columbus's four voyages, uh, the ship, the caravel uh, that he used. These ships were used by most of the major explorers to open up the whole world to exploration. 